Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how components work in UXPIN. Components are elements that can be reused across your design. They save you plenty of time, help you maintain consistency, and let you make changes across the prototype. A button, a list element, a navigation bar, or any other element which appears often on your design can be a component. So how to get started? Let's dive right in. You can create components in three different ways. Click Create Component in the top bar, use the command K shortcut, or open the context menu and choose Create Component. When you look at the Layers panel, you'll see that components, unlike other elements on the canvas, have a purple icon. Now you can reuse this component by creating copies of it, which we call instances. Simply hold Alt and drag, use the command D, which stands for duplicate, or just copy and paste it. Every new instance is independent from all other instances. It means that you can override individual properties like text, color, and anything else apart from their size or position. But if you want to edit them all at once, you'll need to edit the master component. All instances are linked to the master component, so any changes you make to the master will be applied to its instances apart from these properties, which you've already edited. And that's how components speed up your work when you need to keep the same design, but have different content. And that's why we designers love them. Okay, now I'll fill out the entire history panel. Sometimes you'll want to reset the changes you've made to a specific element. The good news is that with components, you don't have to build everything from scratch. Just select the element and reset its selected properties back to the master component. Go to the properties panel and choose the one you want to reset. There's also a way to reset the whole instance at once. When it comes to deleting elements inside components, you can only delete them in the master and therefore for all instances. Deleting an element in an instance will only hide it. And last but not least, if you want to turn a component back to a regular element, just select Break Component from the context menu. To sum up what we've just gone over, create components and reuse them across your design to speed up your workflow. Edit each instance separately by changing its content. Edit all instances at once by deleting the master component. Any changes to the master propagate to its instances if the property hasn't been changed before. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.